from Detroit? Oh, I was right. Terrifying ass place. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I, I, got, I got on a plane and the captain got on the intercom and it was a, it was a female captain. The lady captain. Right. Yeah. And the dude next to me freaked out and had this like sexism seizure. He wasn't ready for it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Over China? In the cockpit? It's called a cockpit! <laughs> wasn't ready for that shit, you know? And for me, I felt good, because this guy was like 20 years older than me. It was like a generational gap, you know? And when I heard the woman's voice as a captain, I felt good about it, you know? I felt relaxed. Because I know as a woman, she had to work way harder to get in that position than any guy has ever had to work. Right? Yeah. Right? And also, it relaxed me to know that the co-pilot was definitely a guy. Yeah. Right? There are like two chicks flying that plane. He was like, bro, well, the Europeans make the worst sports ever. They're so boring. I love when Americans shit on soccer for being boring, like we didn't invent baseball. <laughs> Easily the most boring sport on the face of the planet. Some sports need steroids involved, all right? Dude, I'm a sports fan, but the last time I tried to watch a full game of baseball, it almost ruined my life, okay? Real talk. I try to enjoy it. Like I said, I'm a sports fan. I got a flat screen TV. I got weed. Let's do this shit, all right? I sat down, got comfortable, you know, turned the game on, got in the zone, rolled a joint, sparked it, smoked it, ate a sandwich, took a nap, woke up, took a shower, got out, read Lord of the Rings, then watch Lord of the Rings. Turn the game back on, third inning. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm high, but that was a long ass time, so. That was poor, right? Like any good American would be. So I called my girl over. She came over. We made sweet, passionate love. I'm not afraid to say that. She cried afterwards. I held her. It was beautiful. <laughs> but she got pregnant. What? Had to get married. Moved to Michigan. Started a family practice. I went through law school. Graduated. Seven goddamn years. Couldn't work with her parents, though my father-in-law's an asshole. So we fought. Got divorced. I gotta pay child support in Illinois now. Real talk. I miss the kids. Moved to L.A. to get my life together again, you know, got an apartment in Koreatown. <laughs> Turned the game back on, bottom of the eight. I was like, what the <laughs> game has cost me legal fees. <laughs> Speaking of legal fees, uh, I got pulled over for not wearing my seatbelt. $238 ticket. What? It said safety violation on it. Really? The cops are worried about seatbelts and safety? Dude, if that's true, if they're worried about seatbelts and safety on the road, what about motorcycles? <laughs> we got maniacs out there riding on land rockets, holding on to their boyfriend's love handles, zigzagging in and out of traffic on the fucking highway, hoping to dear God they don't fly the fuck off. I'm pro-America. This country, your life's in your own hands, okay? You don't need the law pulling you over. Hey, but you better buckle up, buddy. Fuck you, Dad. Just spend my tax dollars a little more wisely, asshole. That's what it do. To me, wearing a condom is the equivalent of wearing a seatbelt. It's the same thing. Condom, seatbelt, it's the same thing. You don't want to wear it, you know the consequences. You've read the literature. Go fuck yourself, grow up, all right? Or some 
some shit, you know? I love, dude, these people are the worst people. Anybody who says this to you, having a dog, it's like having a baby. You're stupid as shit, shut up. That's so not true, dude. Having a dog is not the same thing as having a kid. It's not even close. Having a dog is way better than having a kid. Is that even a question, dude? Dogs are awesome. You feed them, you love them, you walk them. They don't even live that long, like 15 years, tops. It's a solid relationship. Kids, you gotta legally get them to 18, and then what? It's not over. You gotta get them through college, right? Then they drop out, they get arrested, they become drug addicts. And then what? They end up telling dick jokes about 100 people on a comedy club on Saturday night in fucking San Diego. It's the top of the line, baby. I, uh, shit. I, uh, uh my favorite, uh, I just got the light and I want to tell like eight more jokes, so it's not gonna happen, guys. Sorry. Uh, Fuck you, there's other comics on the night, okay? I'm not doing that shit. I saw uh, Captain Marvel, the new movie that just came out. Yes! No spoiler alerts, by the way. I was high as fuck during the whole thing. I tried to, I, well, I ate some weed gummy worms. I wasn't ready for the weed gummy. I, I, I've never eaten edibles before, and when I bought them at the pot shop, the guy was like, bro! Only eat one. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I've been smoking weed since I was 13 years old, man. So I ate seven. <laughs> I realized what kind of mistake I made. I was knee deep in that movie, terrified. Samuel L. Jackson coming out of me. He's like, yeah. Say what again, motherfucker? Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know where I got a text message from an unknown number. This freaked me out, man. <laughs> Scott Cole's even existed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pulled over my phone, there's a text message from an unknown number. I was like, what? <laughs> Opened the text, and it just said, Where are you? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Scream in the theater. This guy from behind me grabbed my shoulder, she looked at his head. What's up, bro? Looked at my phone and said, Where are you? Look at me. You're here. <laughs> I looked at my phone and it exploded out of my hand. <laughs> it's right then I realized I ate way too many weed gummy worms. <laughs> that was still in my apartment when all that shit was going on. <laughs> Grab my bong for safety, you know? Ate some nachos, scared my dog for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the game back on top of the night. I was like, what? 